This is the Abuja Municipal Area Council AMAC Resource Center. Having a lot of facilities such as the fish pond, the aqua, for aquaculture, and then we have different animal husbandry here. It is being acquired by the young Nigerians against greed uh, with the vision of uh, Consular Edward Olutoke. This resource center here is being acquired for the purpose of human empowerment and economic self-reliance of the Nigerian youth. It's being acquired under the auspices of the young Nigerians against greed. Well, it's a, it's a, the well developed is a good development that has just come to us. Uh, we came and observed the place and we saw that it's fallow line. And uh, we think uh, from uh, looking into our projections and uh, uh, aspirations for Nigerian youth, we feel this place shouldn't be like that. So the White Nag has just acquired it from AMAC and it's a very large resourceful center where you can see where the fisheries are, other um, husbandries are. And we're going to use it effectively to train youths in the nation. We are going to make sure that as we further on with this, we are going to replicate this station in all the states. Because we are bent at making uh, Nigerian citizens feel very self-reliant self uh, self and self-employed. So this is a very welcome development and uh, we are going to show the next time you are coming here, we have developed here and we are going to quickly embark on a series of programs and projects to ensure that Nigerian youths are self-employed and self-content. However, to mark out what the president said about Nigerian youths, that we are lazy. I think we are up to the tax. This is something that uh, excites, uh, that should excite every well-meaning Nigerian, uh, especially those who are interested in the well-being of young people. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I would say that this is a statement against greed. Uh, when you talk about young Nigerians against greed and you come up with a place like this, you are actually making a statement, you are walking the talk because you are actually hitting the bottom line or the foundation of greed. Uh, the greed, the type we know in Nigeria is um, driven by a retail economy, an economy that is not productive. So if you must alter that situation, you must change the narrative, then you also need to begin to think of building a fresh economy, an economy that is driven by the productivity. And what I see here is productivity. The fish ponds is productivity. The tilapia farm is productivity. Uh, the upcoming uh, spaces for steel farm is productivity. Uh, you know, uh, we see a whole connection of productivity coming in. And uh, when we begin to harness our God-given potential, when we begin to put our hands to the plow, then we are truly walking the talk in the fight against greed. So I think this is something that every Nigerian who is interested in unsettling the, the nemesis that has actually blighted our growth and blighted our progress for so long, greed, then you need to you know, think of something like this. And I think this is something that every government, both at the federal, at the state, or local government, should begin to look at as something that will now begin to motivate and galvanize our people towards a much needed march towards sustainable development. So this is the full development of this place will be a dream come true for the whole of Nigeria. Most especially, we are starting from this point because we are still going nationwide. But this resource center will represent what it will look like when we get to the 77, 774 local governments in Nigeria. It's a place that wants to come in and develop over 10 million people, young ones. It's a place that has been designated for empowerment, skill acquisition in different forms of life, especially in the modern day. We are not talking about mathematics or talking about chemistry here. We are talking about technology. We are talking about transfer, we are talking about skill for our children and children to come to be able to embark upon without looking for white collar job. That is what this resource is all about. By His grace, we are going to try very much humanly possible to sustain it, maybe for the next 50 years. We are really going to work towards that. And uh, with the leadership that we have, the person of Pastor Edward Lutoke, 
we are sure that uh, sky will be the beginning of our step. He's a very lovely one because he's one of his kind. I think if all states who have this, the youth will go out on rampage and talk about uh, poverty and uh, youthful exuberance and all that. I know we are going to cut down on all that with this in place. Thank you very much. What is your piece of advice for the sustainability of this place towards human and I pray and hope that he's going to get to all the states, all the wards, all the LGs. And if you have all this, I know that with God on his side, the government should also uh, collaborate with him and I know that it's going to be sustainable but I know that he has this zeal in him that with or without collaboration he's going to do well because we have almost everything here we have tila uh, rearing of tilapia uh, mud fish and all that we have training for youth and everything that you can think of so if we have that and when someone has that kind of zeal to impact on the future generation. I know that God is not going to let him down. And with God, all things are possible. are out to ensure a practical empowerment not just empowerment that people say on, on on the white papers practical empowerment that will impact positivity in the lives of nigerian citizens this is one people are going to be trained here youths nigerian citizens in abuja metropolis and the environs are going to be trained here on several skills and then the essence of acquiring it will be achieved and it will boost the economic situations for our country and maybe in, a, in Abuja in particular. Thank you too. This resource center here is being acquired for the purpose of human empowerment and economic self-reliance of the Nigerian youth. It's being acquired under the auspices of the Young Nigerians Against Great. My name is Austin Akubo for Sea Africa.